Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Fauci County Public Schools with another edition of Three Great Things. Um, I've got three really interesting things to share with you uh, all occurring this week. Um, the first was um, one of my favorite things to do as superintendent, and that is to meet with my, um, my three student advisory groups um, at each one at each of our high schools. And um, they're, they're just great meetings, and uh, I, I really should do them or, or hold them more often. But um, I learned a lot from the students, and um, this past meeting, I asked all three student groups about subjects related to vaping, uh, the school calendar, um, bullying, online bullying, and uh, uh, especially via devices. And uh, we also talked about one lunch, uh, and they were very interesting conversations. And just to nutshell them for you, um, the the pervasive opinion attitude towards vaping is it's, it's not nearly as pre prevalent or present as it was last year. And um, the three student groups uh, made comments such as it's very unusual now, or whereas last year it was something that you kind of dealt with on a daily basis. It's, it's uh, unusual to see vaping occur now. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, the bullying question is one I ask every year, usually multiple times. And, and typically the answer I get from high school about bullying, whether it's face-to-face -face bullying or, or, or bullying associated with you know uh, social media. High school students typically report that it's not something that they see or experience. Um, but they they did talk more a little more about like school anxiety, and um, the 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 uh, place that devices and social media plays in creating an anxiety for students as they think about going to school, and it was very interesting. Um, honestly, what they said bullying it, what they typically say is bullying is more of a middle school elementary thing, um, but the, still the devices. Uh, they, they shared things like students do spend too much time on their devices. They do use uh, devices sometimes to stir up drama. Um, so it was a, it was a very interesting conversation. Um, we we talked a lot about it at, at these during these meetings, but um, could share a lot there. And we also talked about calendar. We have a survey calendar calendar survey coming up probably in the fall, and we do that every couple of years. And the students, for the most part, like the calendar. Um, they don't like getting up early, for the, so early for the most part, but we didn't really talk about that as much as we did the start date, which is typically middle of August. And students, for the most part, the ones I meet with anyway, they see the, the, the mid-August start date as a, as a reasonable trade-off in order that we finish first term by winter break and then get out of school around Memorial Day. So they see, they like the idea that if they finish first semester by winter break, that they don't have SOL testing and exams hanging over their heads over break. And then uh, and then there's this clean break at, you know, in January and they start their next set of classes. And we're, again, these are high school students, not really applying to any other group. And then uh, for the most part, the, the overwhelming majority of students like the idea of getting out around Memorial Day and not getting into June. So it was an interesting conversation about calendar. And we also talked about one lunch. And of course, the students at Liberty, where they have one lunch, they really like it. And um, that's a change from the fall. In the fall, it was a very much a mixed bag about one lunch because it was new and it was different. Um, but this this time around um, in the advisory meeting, they, they had very, very positive things to say. And then, of course, with the students at Fauquier High School and Cal Run, you know, they all, I think, the students communicate from school to school. So they'd like to see it in their schools. They'd like to see it at least tried in their schools. So it was an interesting conversation, and it was really good, really good time. And, you know, I always appreciate their candor and um, the time I'm able to spend with them. The other school, uh, the other two uh, great things are really quick, and they both involve food. <laughs> I I had the opportunity to be a judge at uh, Calderon High School, and in their culinary lab, and it was uh, kids were making ravioli, and of course.
what I love to eat, and I'm kind of a foodie, and my son is a is a is a sous chef, and so I've got a, a real interest, real keen interest in culinary, the culinary uh, fields within our high school. So I was I was pleased and honored that I was asked to uh, judge at Keller when it was fun, and um, last but not least, also involving food, and this is a little thing, but it's worth sharing. So I got to visit Keller. Uh, Cedar Lee Middle School, and they kindly invited me to participate in their soup extravaganza. And the reason I'm, I'm sharing such a what seemingly trivial thing, first it was very kind of them to invite me in to have some soup, but I can remember back, you know, as a teacher and even as an assistant principal and principal at a, at a high school or high schools, those little opportunities to sit down, take a deep breath, enjoy some good food with some colleagues and, and some good conversation. Uh, they're really meaningful. They're really meaningful times. And looking back on my, my time as a teacher and, and principal, those are the times you sort of remember. And um, and that so all kind of came rushing back to me as I visited Cedar Lee. And I didn't stay very long. I just was able to enjoy some soup and talk to a couple people. But um, those are important times, and they're important opportunities for adults and for students, which is one of the reasons why I like One Lunch so much is, you know, it really gives students an opportunity to spend time with each other and to communicate with each other, and they're not so rushed to get through their 20 minutes, 25 minutes lunch break. They actually have time to eat their food and talk to their friends and talk to their teachers. And um, so that was the connection with the soup extravaganza at Cedar Lee just kind of reminded me of those of those opportunities and how important they are so it was a great week it was kind of a long week but very good a lot of great experiences and we have really great kids here we're really fortunate really blessed we have really good students here so hope everyone has a great weekend